Close your eyes and bring your body and your mind together right here at the breath. Try to bring them into alignment. The body is right here in the present moment all the time, but the mind tends to go off to the past, go off to the future. So see if you can get the mind to stay right here. And see if you can get them to get along together. This is a good principle in finding happiness both inside and out, which is harmony. Harmony takes time, it takes effort. When you're meditating, this is why we have to use directed thought and evaluation. We can't just plop right down in the breath, plop right down in the body. Things need adjustment. That requires thought. What kind of breathing would be good right now? We'll experiment to see what is easy for the breath, easy for the body, easy for the mind. Gives a sense of well-being for all three. That way they can get along together. And when they get along, then they're helping one another. When the mind stays with the, the body in the present moment, it can look over the body. Any patterns of tension that come up, any blockages in the breath energy, you can smooth them out, you can open them up. And so the mind has a solid place to stay. It's like the owner of a house. If the house owner is way off doing something else. There's no one to look after the house. If the pipes burst, if animals get into the house, if dry rot hits the walls. In the meantime, the owner of the house is exposed to rain, sun, whatever the weather is outside. But when the owner is in the house, okay, both sides benefit. You can fix whatever needs fixing inside the house, and you've got a good solid roof over your head. Walls to protect you from the heat and the cold. That's because you're working together. You've developed a sense of peace and harmony with each other. And that way both sides get strengthened. We have to see this principle outside as well. When people get along, heavy work becomes light, light work becomes almost no work at all. When they don't, don't get along, light work becomes heavy, and heavy work becomes impossible. And it's the same sort of principle. It requires direct a thought and evaluation to learn how to get along. It's not that we're going to naturally get along. You throw people together, and they're going to smooth one another out like rocks in a tumbler. It requires thought. How can we best get along so that we can achieve our aims as a group? And when you think in those terms, then you're willing to make adjustments here, make adjustments there. You know what adjustments to make. And you find that everybody benefits.